Good morning, everyone. Let's pray and read God's word. Uh, God, I pray that everyone who hears us this morning uh, would have a great day, and I pray that you would teach us and draw us near to yourself. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's read the Bible. Genesis chapter 3. Now the serpent was the most cunning of all the wild animals that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say, You can't eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat the fruit from the trees in the garden, but about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God said, You must not eat it or touch it, or you will die. No, you will not die, the serpent said to the woman. In fact, God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food and delightful to look at, and that it was desirable for obtaining wisdom. So she took some of its fruit and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they knew that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. So at the end of Genesis chapter 2, we see that they were naked but not ashamed. And at the end of our passage this morning, we see that they were naked and afraid. They hid from the Lord. And this is the first time that we see that there was any tension between uh, mankind and God. Uh, and it's all because of our sin. Sin causes us to doubt ourselves. Sin causes a separation between us and God. And there's really not too much else that I could say this morning because I'm half asleep. <laughs> Just in short, sin is bad. And as Christians, we want to honor God. So that means um, taking an honest look at our lives and seeking to uh, remove the sin from our lives, be, be more glorifying to God. And in a very practical way, the less we sin, the less we have to be afraid. Most of all, though, we, we have to rely on Jesus because we know that we can't do this ourselves. Um, just like Adam and Eve messed up, we're going to mess up over and over again. Uh, we shouldn't be content with that, and yet we should confess it to God and allow him to change us from the inside out. Uh, that's why Jesus died for us, because we couldn't do this ourselves. So uh, trust in him and also pursue a life that glorifies God. All right, God bless you guys. Have a great day.